Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear. out. She's waiting for us. Don't make me do this by myself. supposed to do now. I can't do this without you. Was that? Oh no. Honey, I, I need you. I need my medicine.
Good. At least you can still feel something. I look at you and I see nothing. Not the beautiful girl I fell in love with. Not the mother of my child. Not even the hateful monster you pretend to be. You're just... empty. I look at you and I feel nothing. And it scares the hell. Good. At least you can still feel something. I look at you and I see nothing. Not the beautiful girl I fell in love with. Not the... Good. At least you can still feel something. I look at you and I see nothing. Not the beautiful girl I fell in love with. Not the mother of my child. Not even the hateful monster you pretend to be. You're just... empty. I look at you and I feel nothing. And it scares the hell out of me. You forgot to say how hideous I am. Go on. I know you want to. I hate you. Good. At least you can still feel something. I look at you and I see nothing. Not the beautiful girl I fell in love with. Not the mother of my child. Not even the hateful monster you pretend to be. You're just... empty. I look at you and I feel nothing. And it scares the hell out of me. I forgot to say how hideous I am. Go on, I know you want to. God, not that again. I know you're disgusted with me, admit it. 
right, I am disgusted with you. But it has nothing to do with the way you look. I'm disgusted with what you let it do to you. How you let it change you. Princess, Princess, wake up. I need you to get dressed real quick. There are men coming. Some very bad men. They want to take you away from me. But I won't let them. We won't let them, will we? Yes. Now I remember. Throughout all the chaos and misery, in his own flawed and misguided way, he did love her after all. His way of expressing it was a different matter altogether. I, grasping at the remains of my sanity, declare this to be my last will and testament. I hereby deem all my previous wills just as worthless as the shallow husks calling themselves my friends and associates. To my agent, Thomas Caldwell, I bestow the hellish vermin that infest my home, praying that they will gnaw away at him endlessly, bleeding him dry just like he did to me. To my publisher, Liam Brickstone, I bequeath the flames that consume the love of my life in hopes they will devour him along with the wretched whore and the squealing bastard he calls a family. To my lawyer, James Jerome Sadler, I pass on whatever illness has rotted my brain and soul away so that he can feel just as empty and useless as he was to me. To any other parasites that come crawling out of the woodwork, I leave nothing. To hell with all of you. Finally, to my beloved daughter, I leave all my earthly possessions for what they're worth. I hope they will inspire you to realize your true potential. The final, most precious gift, however, is not mine to give. You will have to discover that on your own. I believe in you, as I always have. <laughs> 